Hello my dear students today we'll be understanding about punctuation and capital letters what is the uses of punctuation marks punctuation aids the reader in understanding the writer's intended message sometimes the use of punctuation like n marks makes it easier to read and comprehend writer's ideas that is depending on where they are placed or if they are used at all like commas apostrophes and other marks affect a sentence's message so now we will understand the main marks of punctuation that is full stop comma semicolon colon mark of interrogation mark of exclamation apostrophe quotation marks or inverted commas we will study each one of them one by one to begin with full stop full stop is also called period it is used to mark the end of a declarative sentence or an imperative sentence it essentially marks a pause greater than the one marked by a comma and is also used to suggest that there is nothing more to say on the topic for instance i like playing football a full stop is used at the end of a sentence the main use of full stop is to mark the end of a sentence that is a complete statement it indicates a long pause before a new or fresh sentence begins for example my name is ajay and i am a doctor second example she went to the market she bought many vegetables and fruits secondly after initials full stops also appear after initials of a person for example us that is united states uk united kingdom wb yeats that is william butler yeats etc thirdly it's used after abbreviations it is a common practice to use full stops or periods to mark abbreviations for instance prof for professor am for anti meridian pm for post meridian etc for etc and so on full stops can be used after the first letter of each abbreviated word for instance bbc that is british broadcasting corporation it can also be used after a selected group of letters from a word for instance st that is for street fourth it is used at the end of commands full stops mark the end of the sentence that is a command that is that tells someone to do something for instance open the door pick up the eraser from the floor fifth at the end of indirect questions full stops are used at the end of sentences that are indirect questions for instance i wondered why she bunked the class he asked me why i missed the concert in such cases instead of a question mark full stops are used sixth in websites full stops or periods are also used in website addresses Websites will not work if you do not put the full stop at the appropriate place in a website address. Now full stops primarily mark at the end of a thought. In the absence of full stop, each sentence will run into the next and the reader will have a tough time segregating two or more sentences. This would also create confusion for the reader or speaker. Thus, full stops are an important punctuation marks without which language would become incomplete and difficult to comprehend now we'll move to the second punctuation mark that is comma comma is used to separate words in series for example the food they served was delicious nourishing and affordable second it is used to separate phrases in series for example standing or sitting eating or drinking sleeping or walking he is always thinking of his past third it is used to separate short clauses in series for example i do not know who he is how he got in or why he is here fourth it is used to set off a noun of address for example mother may i have something to eat fifth It is used to separate the parts of a date from one another or any words following the date. For example, on October 19, 2019, we shifted to our new house. Sixth, it is used to separate the parts of an address. For example, Sultan Chand and Sons Private Limited. 
कॉमा ट्वेंटी फोर दरिया गंज कॉमा न्यू डेली फुल स्टॉप इट इज यूज इन अ लेटर आफ्टर द सेल्यूटेशन एंड आफ्टर द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री क्लोज इन सेल्यूटेशन लाइक आफ्टर डी ओमेगा कॉमा एंड इन द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री क्लोज दैट इज योर सिंसियरली कॉमा एट इट इज यूज टू सेपरेट एक्सप्रेशन लाइक येस नो ओ एंड वेल एग्जाम्पल येस आई विल सर्टनली कम Ninth, it is used to separate expressions that are in opposition. Example: Mrs. Mukherjee, the new manager, is a very gentle lady. Next, tenth, it is used to separate a question tag from a statement. For example, this news is true, isn't it? Eleventh, it is used to separate a reported speech from the rest of the sentence. For example, he said we should learn from our mistakes. 12th whenever a brief pause is needed to give greater clarity to our writing for example the day after she visited her grandparents moving to the other punctuation mark that is semicolon a semicolon is used between independent clauses not connected by a conjunction example rosie is quiet and hard working ruchi is jovial and active second It is used before such expressions as however, than, moreover, nevertheless, hence, thus, for instance, consequently, that is, therefore, if they come between independent clauses not connected by a conjunction. Example: Our principal insists on strict discipline, therefore, I try to be very punctual. Third, It is used to separate clauses particularly if the clauses have internal commas. Example: The family is going on a picnic. Father carries the rugs, mother the food, and the children the rest of the things. Now we'll move to the next punctuation mark that is colon. The colon is used after a statement which introduces examples. Now, my subjects this year are the following. English, Hindi, Mathematics, General Science and Social Studies. Moving to the next punctuation mark that is mark of interrogation. The mark of interrogation is placed at the end of an interrogative sentence. Example, how old is he? However, at the end of an indirect question, we use a full stop. Example, I want to know how old he is. Now we'll move to the next punctuation mark that is mark of exclamation. The mark of exclamation is placed at the end of an exclamatory sentence. Example: What an excellent idea. Next punctuation mark that is quotation marks or inverted commas. The quotation marks are used to set off the actual words used by a speaker. Example: Gopal said, "I want to become a lawyer when I grow up." Next punctuation mark apostrophe The apostrophe is used to form the possessive of any singular noun we add an apostrophe and s to the noun examples the girl's dress sonali's books etc second it is used to form the possessive of a plural noun ending in s we add only an apostrophe example the boy's school her teacher's influence a lady's tailor third it is used to form the possessives of a plural noun that does not end in s we add an apostrophe and s example children's programs men's clothes women's college fourth we use an apostrophe with expressions of time space and money example two weeks holidays a stone's throw a rupees worth fifth we use an apostrophe to make short forms example i'll which means i will it's which means it is he doesn't which means does not sixth we use an apostrophe to form the plurals of letters figures etc example two fives three ma's two a's last point 7th we don't use the apostrophe with these words ours yours its hers 
there's food now let's understand about the capital letters first the capital letters with proper nouns the a part we capitalize the names of persons example sushmita said mira pandit etc b part we capitalize the names of the days of the week and of the months but not the names of the seasons example monday the third tuesday in june etc in the c part we capitalize the names of religions and other words used with them example islam the bible idul fitr the buddhists the d part we capitalize the names of countries nationalities races languages and adjectives derived from them example india indian tamil the germans etc the e part we capitalize the names of schools colleges business houses political parties example little world school rajkot indian national congress etc the f point we capitalize the names of buildings the names of trains and ships brand names example the red fort the rajasthani express hero motor corp and lastly the g point we capitalize the names of special days special events etc example the republic day quit india movement etc moving to the second point we always capitalize the first word of every sentence third the first word of each line of a poem often begins with a capital letter example the sweetest thing that ever grew beside a human door fourth the first word of a direct quotation is capitalized example she said all my demands have been met the fifth point while writing the titles of stories essay etc capitalize the first word and all the other words except articles prepositions and conjunctions example the advantages of rising early the sixth point we capitalize the official names of government departments the titles of high ranking officials etc example the prime minister the ministry of finance moving to the last that is seventh point we capitalize the pronoun i and all the words standing for god example the almighty the blessings of god with this students i hope you all have understood this topic nicely